into two four foot sections but that was too thin so i got some more pieces to make it wider and then that worked out great but as you can see there were some parts that were a little too far out so i made some marks of where to cut it and then i continued to use the minor saw to cut the pieces but then i realized i could use the cutoff from that piece to put right there instead of using a completely different piece of wood so then i cut that piece and then everything looked great. It, it was just the width I wanted. So then I continued to glue everything together. And then, sorry for the cameraman, he kept on keeping it unsteady. So hope this doesn't hurt your eyes too much. But I glued everything, made sure everything was square. And then I used the hot glue, I mean the, the hot gun to speed up the process. Okay, so while we're waiting for the glue on the shield to dry, we should start working on the trim for the shield. So let's get to that. So now we have to put marks down for at a 90 degree angle so everything lines up correctly. So now that we got the marks done, we have to cut it. Luckily, I have just the tool for the job. So at first I was using this and this was taking a little long and this top piece was wiggling around a little bit and that made me concerned. So I remembered that we had some steel snippers. Don't mind the noise in the background, it's just trucks, construction site nearby. But I remember that we had these steel snippers, which not only makes it much faster, but makes a much nicer cut. Can you, it's such a visual di uh, difference. So I'm gonna be using these from now on. Now we just need to do that three more times. Done. I'm impressed of how well this turned out. I mean, it looks amazing. All I have to do is sand this, stain this, spray paint this gray, and put the handles in, put the nubs in, and then we'll be done. So I'll get to that. So luckily, because this is four feet, it's gonna make math and where to place each nub easy because all we have to do is place each nub every foot so i'm just gonna mark those out okay i just got all the marks done hey cat so mark right here 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 they're evenly divided six inches away from the, each edge so everything's nice and square. Oh, you're just gonna walk on it now? Sniffing it? Okay, but all the nubs are gonna be lined up and that's what is important. We need to drill a hole in each mark now and then we can start st sanding. Okay, now with all the holes drilled, we can now start sanding. Okay, so the sanding turned out great. There's dust. <coughs> a lot of dust in the air, as you can tell from my coughing. But yeah, the sanding went well. I sanded it different directions to add some more detail. It looked like it was a little bit more weathered. This ridge I was trying to get rid of, but it was taking forever and I figured, eh, good enough. But it's all flat got all the glue marks off and now we can move on to spray painting these and staining this matchy glacier gray not the exact color i wanted but it's gonna have to do couldn't find anything else so time to start spraying
So again, I would have preferred a darker gray, but that's the best I had on hand. Like it is grayer, but it is still a very light gray. So I'm just gonna have to call it good. Okay, I got the shield ready and I got the stain ready. Dark walnut. So now all that's left to do is put it on I'm gonna do this off camera, so I hope you enjoy the end result. Okay, this looks great. This is like exactly how I wanted it to turn out. It has that feel. It is roughly the same color of the shield in Minecraft. It looks great. And now that the other pieces are dry, let's put it all together. Okay, so we got the outer trim on and everything's looking great. It has the feet, like, it looks like the shield. It's sturdy. All we have to do is just get the nubs for these places and also put the back supports on and the straps and then the shield will be done. So let's get to that. Okay, so it's getting darker, but I got some of the pieces uh, cut and spray painted for the knobs. I'm gonna put a wood uh, trim around it. And then I'm gonna try to finish it tonight, but forgive me if it comes out tomorrow again. But we're making pretty good progress. It should come out tonight. Now let's put these things on the shield. Okay, so it is now morning. I stayed up a good margin of the night making this finishing it up and finished it this morning and now the shield part is finished it's done it looks amazing i'm so happy of how well this turned out i've been told that the screws kind of ruined the effect and it would look better without screws but the screws hold in these back support parts speaking of the back that we need to put the straps in so let's get to that so I'm trying to figure out on what I should use for the strap slash handle for this area because I found this fabric which could work but it didn't it it just it doesn't give the feel that I want it, do, it doesn't look how I want it so I'm trying to find something else if I could use an actual strap that would be nice but of course I would have to cut off a piece of a strap and I don't want to do that. All of them belong to my dad and I'm not interested in paying for them. So yeah, I, I I'm just don't know what to do for the back end. Uh, give me a stick to figure it out. Okay, so I think I figured out a solution. So this may look like just some duct tape, but I actually took the fabric, folded it up, used duct tape to wrap it around and then made this strap which uh has the texture i want it has the color i want so i'll just put these on and then we can be done okay it is finally done uh don't mind this get this out of here okay but it is finally done and it looks so amazing. Please don't tip my foot. Okay, the wind's a little rough right now. And we got the straps in. These are sturdy, decently comfortable. I cut that so I could easily put my elbow in from either direction and have more room for my hand. And it, it just looks awesome. It turned out great. And now let's time uh, now it's time to test it. JK, so I was thinking about it and I couldn't fit a worthwhile testing video in this video without making it too long. So I'll actually do a different video that is going to have much higher quality where I'm going to do the testing and it's going to be great and I promise you this time I will be on time. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, so it was one of my nicer videos, I believe, 
I will try to increase the quality each video. So if you like it, hit the like button, comment down below what I should make next, and goodbye.